about a different angle on that Hail Mary from week one? Daly to Wampa for a walk-off game winner. That was fun. Brad Zelenovich is the head coach of number one ranked Southeast Polk, and he's back with me here in the studio, fresh off the practice field. That last play uh, in that first week against Dowling, how many times have you been a part of a game that ended on a, a walk-off Hail Mary? Uh, as, a, as a head football coach, zero. In fact, I don't know as a, any coach at any level uh, on, a, on a throw, on an actual play. You know, we've, we've won some games and lost some games on field goals, you know, in the, in the kicking game, but uh, nothing like that. So it was uh, one of those things where, you know, we had worked on it and, you know, situational football and have a chance and threw it up and, and made a play. Had a pretty good player on both ends of that Hail Mary, and that was a dramatic way to have that first game end. Coach, I know you're here from the practice field, not far off the practice field. Many people out there wonder and don't know, what is a typical week like now for a high school football player? What's the commitment? Well, you know, it's, it's six, six days a week. Uh, we've, we've changed a lot. You know, we're uh, a little bit shorter than we've been. You know, we try and be as efficient as we can. And, and especially, you know, as you get into the first four, the physical nature of the game, the teams that we've played, these first three, and then obviously again on Friday, trying to take care of our guys, play fast, you know, make sure they're feeling good. Um, but, you know, we, we go uh, on Sundays and then, uh, you know, on typical Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then walk through Thursday, you know, pretty similar to what everybody does. And, and then, uh, you know, the, do a lot of good versus good, you know, a lot of one versus one uh, situational type stuff in practice and, you know, try and keep guys off the ground and keep them healthy and get them to the start line on Friday night. This past week, uh, you played Northwest. What did you see from your team that you liked and what concerned you? Well, you know, it was uh, the first opportunity for our football team to go on the road, you know, in a you know, hostile environment, a brand new stadium, a new school. and Pretty you know, nice over there. For sure, yeah, and uh, did it right. And, uh, you know, they were excited, obviously, rightfully so, open to that thing up and a lot of energy, and they had a great crowd, great atmosphere for our kids. And, you know, we had, uh, you know, kind of some mistakes in the first half and, you know, moved the ball and kind of turned it over in the red area. And then, you know, challenged them at second half, you know, um, come out and, and, and go one play at a time and see what we could do and just go play them in the second half, not ourselves and them, you know, kind of deal. And our guys answered the bell you know had some young guys you know a bunch of sophomores playing and some juniors and even some seniors making their first road start of their career so it was good to see them respond to that uh, in the second half your five-star safety and playmaker uh, Xavier Wampa did not play in the game we're going to hear from him here in just a few minutes he's here with you in studio but uh, what can you tell us about his health status well, it's a day by day, you know, he's going through some things right now and he's, he's progressing nicely and, you know, we're just going to take it one day at a time and we'll see how he feels uh, tomorrow. How has your team responded to, to being the hunted for a second season in a row? You, you kind of carried that number one label through last year, you have it again this year, what's that, what's that like? Well, you know, we, we, we don't spend a lot of time about that. Obviously, you know, these kids live in a world that's different than, you know, it was when we were growing up or even, you know, five, ten years ago. And so right. the media attention, obviously, what we're doing here, it's great. Um, you know, social media, um, all these recruiting services and all those things. Um, so we just we just worry about us, you know, and uh, try and focus on us. I know it seems cliche and coach speak, but, mm -hmm. you know, just focus on us every single day and, and, and let everything else take care of itself. And, um, you know, our guys, I think, has handled it nicely so far, obviously. We'll have a great challenge again Friday, but um, you know we got some veterans uh, that have played a lot of football. You know Xavier being one of them, and a handful of other guys. You know some high-profile guys, but we also got some guys that are just really good high school football players, and some other guys that are playing at some smaller colleges that you know love their teammates and practice hard and prepare. And it's really important to them, and so you know this is their kind of last go around, and so you know trying to meet that standard every day in their preparation to give us a chance on Friday night. That challenge Friday night, state championship rematch what do you expect from this year's Ankeny Hawks well as you as you look at them um, they're well coached they're physical on both sides of the ball um, they, they do a great job of, of uh, running the football offensively I think their tailbacks a nice player they do a good job of uh, you know physical up front and a, you know a gap type scheme run and defensively they're multiple you know and uh, they do all the little things you know, and they're not going to beat themselves so we'll have a challenge on the road to go up there and kind of settle into the game and see if we can you know have a chance to win it in the fourth quarter well, it's going to be fun to carry this game. A lot of people looking forward to it. And, Coach, it's great to see you again. Thank you for coming out here right after practice. Uh, hope you remembered to let your wife know you're going to be home late. Yep, you got it. Thank okay, you. you. Appreciate okay, it. Okay, good. When we come back, Justin Surrency, also known as uh, Silky, we learned tonight, he will talk to Xavier Wampa. That's next on Coach's Corner. 